Even if you don't know Brandy Passante by name, you would no doubt recognize her as one half of the fiercest couple on Storage Wars. Brandy and her husband, Jared, have been a mainstay on the show for just about a decade, and the duo has made great money hunting for rare and exotic finds. So why are they suddenly walking away from it all? Brandy was such a hit on this awesome find and seek reality show that she and her husband eventually began working on their own spinoff show. Okay, great. It was called Brandy and Jared, Married to the Job. But what if I told you that despite a name like that, the couple was never actually married? And on top of that, rumors of abuse and records of police activity paint them in a much different light. Sure, we all know to take reality TV with a grain of salt, but could things have really gotten this bad for the couple? And who the heck is the mystery man appearing on her Insta stories? What's happening? Today we're gonna figure out exactly why the usually witty and talkative Brandy has gone quiet on us, and what that could mean for her career moving forward. But before we start the bidding, make sure to hit that thumbs up icon to show us some support, and subscribe to the channel for more of our favorite reality updates. Now, going once, twice, sold. From leaked adult films to buried secrets, let's open the container together as we go find out. What, what happened? happened? A marriage that never was. If you were to walk down the street and poll the average person, they probably would have referred to Brandy and Jared as a married couple. In fact, all the way back in 2014, their planned wedding was featured heavily on both Storage Wars and their spinoff show. So what the heck happened? Since it was reality TV, there are a few rules we have to keep in mind, and one of them is to never fully trust what we're being shown. And while Brandy may have seemed like a happy and supportive partner in front of the camera, things were honestly on the verge of coming undone behind the scenes. After only eight episodes, the show that Brandy and her husband-to-be were working on was scrapped, and it was no mystery what happened. The focus of the show was on the couple and their unconventional business together. But when the relationship began to crumble, the show quickly went with it. While their techniques for choosing storage containers together was pretty great, and of course their personalities together was great for storage wars, they couldn't overcome the very obvious issue. The couple was not getting along. Not a date. Date. Not a date. And the messy and public downfall of a once beloved couple really goes to show you how little we know about these people, even if we watch them every week. Because ironically, Brandy and Jared were never legally married. I guess we all saw the business together, the kids together, and how they said they were married and we believed them. Brandy the Adult Actress After their show failed to get off the ground, Brandy and Jared decided to take a step away from the reality TV scene for a bit. But very unfortunately for Brandy, her time in the media spotlight was only just beginning, as a scandal was about to rear its very ugly and unprofessional head. Brandy Passante would enter into a lengthy and embarrassing legal battle with a man named Hunter Moore, who was a distributor of pornographic films. The drama began when the man posted an adult video claiming that the woman in it was Brandy from way back before her Storage Wars days. Now, it's hard to say how much of a negative effect this may have had on the already rocky marriage, or not marriage, whatever, but our guess is that it definitely did not help. As for the case, while things did not go well at all for Brandy, she did take the man to court with the goal of making him pay over $2 million for the damage it had done on her reputation and potentially her career. And while she ended up on top in court, she would only win a measly 750 bucks. So why? Well, apparently the federal judge said the amount can't be justified, the $2 million in sum. But to think that Brandy learned of the video when she received messages on Twitter, like, can't wait to see more of the videos. It is pretty gut-wrenching. But unfortunately, the judge said Passante did not provide enough evidence to support the $2.5 million claims and damages. I just don't understand this. We're not sending a good message. The dirtbag who got sued tweeted, quote, What should I write on the check in the memo line for that B-word who sued me. 
I mean, come on, dude. It wasn't her in the video. Grow up and get it. <laughs> And all this happening to a person who didn't really want to be famous in the first place. Just a pretty sucky situation. The end of something. Despite never being married, it was always clear that Jared and Brandy cared about each other. And that was a big part of why audiences wanted to see more of them. Unfortunately, it feels like they just couldn't stay together long enough to give fans what they wanted. As they called it quits before ever walking down the aisle together. Fans of the show, and specifically them, were understandably shocked when the news came out. But rest assured, that did not mean this saga was over by any means. Following the announcement, things got pretty weird for a bit. Brandy posted cryptic hints on Instagram that the relationship did not end well for either party. And things eventually came to a head after Brandy filed a complaint against Jared, leading to some pretty unflattering things coming to light. An incident where Jared apparently refused to leave a restaurant he found Brandy at, and then he shoved her multiple times when she asked him to leave. Jared was charged with a count of domestic violence as a result. This was a lot to come to grips with, especially because the last time we saw the two together, they were planning a wedding. And the results, most fans of Stewart's wars turned on Jared. The illusion of their once happy relationship was shattered, and Brandy was put in a very delicate situation. So, she chose to step away from the show, as it brought up all kinds of weird feelings, and rather instead focus on her family. What is Brandy doing today? According to Brandy, she is now more focused on being a parent. She gets to spend more time with her two children instead of having all her time being on set. Brandy Passante became such a big hit on Storage Wars because of how she openly spoke her mind. And thankfully, that hasn't seemed to change all that much over the years. Brandy has become quite the social media follow. So if you're interested in keeping up with her, that seems to be the best way. But unfortunately for Storage Wars fans, she doesn't seem to have any interest in returning to the show. So will she use her free time to return to the dating world? From the looks of things, she just might be. Brandy recently posted a photo of a new tattoo she got that does hint at dating. The tattoo reads free and is located where her wedding ring once was. Even more interesting is the mystery man who has been appearing on all her Instagram stories. Brandy has remained pretty tight-lipped about the whole situation, preferring to keep her dating life private. But it sure does seem that Brandy has found a guy to cozy up to. And we couldn't be happier for her. Right now, all we know about the guy is his name is Clifford Beaver. And he seems to be a pretty successful real estate agent. While Brandy has declared herself single a few times in interviews, all of those forehead kisses and cuddling photos she shared in a recent reel for Beaver seems to point in a different direction, which just about sums up the roller coaster of a couple of years that Brandy Passante has been dealing with. Thankfully, it seems that things are starting to go her way again. But it was a rough couple of years for the Storage Wars superstar. Made of finest silver from the north of Spain. But that's enough of me. Now we want to hear from you all. Do you think we'll ever see her return to the show that made her famous? Who was your favorite player on Storage Wars? And would you watch a show of just Brandy's in the future? Get in the comments down below and let us know. We hope Brandy will see this. If you enjoyed our video, which we certainly hope you did, please hit that thumbs up icon to show us. Subscribe to our channel and come back often so we can keep telling you 